and welcome back to another Bobby's Backyard here. Got a new build. Just got it delivered from the tow truck from Copart, of course. This one is from USAA. That's what the U is for. Um, bought it sight unseen. Cheap enough. Bought it for 700 bucks. Thought it was going to be an easy fix, but now that I'm looking at it, oof. Uh, right now it is not starting sold as a run and drive but I think it's got an air box leak or something uh, I'll check it out right now or what it might be is the fuel cutoff because it wants to start but then it dies out so I think that's what that is but I got the hood unlatched but it won't open so I gotta see what to do there uh, Apron got a little bit crunched, but I think we can just bend that because there's no creases here, just there. Also with this side, bent it just slightly enough. So I'm gonna get the support. It's a bolt-on plastic, phenolic plastic or something like that. Uh, get this new. Uh, what else? Oh, I gotta check the seat belts. Gonna need a grill. The bumper I think I can save. It's a little rip right there and that's it rip right there you saw what i did with the volvo this is nothing so i'm just going to repair the bumper save some money there like i said this is a cheap build it's actually for my cousin uh she's got a new job and everything so i'm gonna get her a car me and my aunt i'm gonna see what we can do uh, and it goes into that that's all right i already got a fender i got a hood i got a headlight that is sitting right over there got the same color but it is a little faded so i might get away with just sanding it and clearing it we'll see i got the hood got the fender headlight grill this bumper is for the g20 that's another video but this thing has got the wing super clean inside smell good low miles 135,000 for an 05 dealer serviced its whole life this person really liked their car like i said service at the dealer whole time on Let's see what's in the trunk Man, they really clean this car out this per like i said this person really liked their car you can tell when somebody didn't like their car when you get a whole bunch of trash and all sorts of crap in there piss bottles yeah this is really clean all right ndss speakers in the back but yeah basically this is what it does I think it's starving for starving for gas nice park all right let's see if we get this hood open because i already unlashed it it clicked but all right let me see what i could do i think if i get this over here it'll be all right or just unbolt it uh 12 millimeters all right we're back i took off the headlight i forgot to start filming but yeah this one this fender is done like i said i already got one hood is done uh and luckily the other hood has the exact same sticker as mission sticker as this one so golden there so when i get inspected no problem uh just gotta disconnect it from around here i gotta look on that one see which where i have it cut off over there uh, I got to transfer this over to that one. That one doesn't have one at all. But here's the extent of the damage. I'll be able to pound that down. I'll be able to pound that down because it did not crease anything. Just pushed it up. So that'll be no problem. Um, bumper, like I said, I can save. Yes. Ah, my helper. You got a clamp. Hey, this is a positive. Positive clamp. <laughs> he's getting so big man he'll be ranching soon 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the wire. So I'll need a new uh, radiator support. This one is done. I'll probably get the whole piece. There's one that at the junkyard that's almost all off. So that's awesome. Be easier for me. Might get a battery. 7 of 19. Pretty old. Um, for being serviced and everything, I don't think they did a valve cover gasket ever. That's weird. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to fix that right there. Daddy's going to fix it. Nye's gonna fix it. My name is Nye with him. But yeah. Boom, like that, see? And then we'll glue it. Plastic weld it, all that. Yeah. And then right here, like I said, I'll be able to put it back together. Heat gun. Everything else is pretty good. Heat gun this right here, mend it. Like I said, if I could fix that Volvo bumper, I could fix this, no problem. Like I said, it's a budget build. I'm trying to fix it as cheap as possible. But yeah, frame rail is straight. Uh, I might need a battery tray. I might get a battery tray. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I do need the fans. They did crack. Crap. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get a new uh, AC condenser. Screw it. Yeah, I'll do that. No problem. Probably get a radiator hose, upper and lower. Get a radiator condenser from Rock Auto. Valve cover gasket. Uh, what else? Coolant. That's about it. Like I said, I already got the headlight. I'm gonna save the bumper. I got a fender. I got a hood. I got a grill. It did crease this slightly. I'm not gonna let it bother me. I'm just gonna leave it. It's fine. And the gaps are fine over here. So. Headlight is fine. It's just popped out of place here and on the bottom. So as soon as I get the new radio support, it'll pop right back in. So I'm going to sand this one down, restore it. And of course, this was the good one. It looks like I've already replaced it once, but it's broken in there and all the tabs are broke. Not worth it. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick uh, hood replace, five minutes. All right, I unbolted the latch. Unbolted the, I think this is the impact sensor. Ooh, I might need a new one. It might be broke. Huh, we'll see. Check on that. Damn it, shouldn't have moved it. All right, hope it doesn't give me an error. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna change the fender real quick. That is so quick, it is simple. I already got half the bumper off. I gotta just take off the screws on the bottom. I think there's three or four. One bolt, 10 millimeter on the other side on the headlight. Take out that headlight. And then I already started unbolting this. The radiator support, so that's almost ready to come out. It's gonna be a quick build. I like it. All right, we'll be back. All right, I don't know where I left off on the last clip, but got the hood on. Looks good. Looks better than that one. Crunched. So I got the headlight off now. Disconnected everything for the radiator. Radiator hose. Just got to get the bottom one. Um, I might just bend this back down, the battery tray. I might get another one when I get the core support. But for right now, I might just bend it down. So when I get a core support, I'll have it. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I see a little bit more damage there we go so it did push out the apron slightly so I might have to do a little bit of a pull we'll see let me put the new fender on and then the hood it lines up pretty good but yeah you can tell uh, let's see as you can see this side's perfect and then when you get over here yeah so I might have to pull it a little bit that way the apron that's not too bad but we'll see how much when i get the new radiator support i'll put it and i'll see where it sits we'll go from there all right and for the fender all this is already taken off 10 millimeter bolt there 12 millimeter bolt there 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 one here and then there's one hidden behind here all you do is take off the mud flap 
three little screws one bolt at the bottom of this just enough for you to bend it down it's not going to hurt it you just go like this bend it to the side there's another 10 millimeter bolt in there takes it off so let's put on the new uh, fender okay it's not that bad that's what you're looking at it's just smushed and pushed over a little bit i think if i get my big sledgehammer good old hendry put a two by four right here smack it over i think that'll work and then get my jaws over here and spread that open i have that with uh i got that tool to spread that open not a problem yeah this is gonna be easy it did break a spot weld there i'll try to fix that and weld it um but yeah all i gotta do is just shift it over about an inch over that way i think all right so for the core support radiator support whatever however you say it but yeah broken right there broken down there so to take this off let's see uh, okay crash bar right here but i think what i gotta do is take it off from here i think i can get away with that and then the whole radiator support comes off it's sandwiched that's how the uh ford fusion was it was sandwiched in between the extension and the frame round all right cool yeah i'll just take it off from right here wow this bolt's loose this car has been apart before crazy but yeah let's take off the crash bar and then the radiator support should come out all right and there you have it whole front end taken off this was easy and gives you a little bit better look on this not too hard to fix that is nothing nothing at all I'll fix that real quick this is gonna be a quick build and this might be one video all in one and then next video just paint it and clean the interior and we're done so like i said i wanted to do a quick fix not a long project but yeah straight everything's straight that's the only reason why i picked it because it looked like an easy fix a little more than what i thought again so what i'm going to do is bend the battery tray down right now and uh yeah i'm gonna try to fix that real quick and this one be right back all right i got this one pretty straight came out pretty good i don't know how much more i got to hit it down because i don't know if right here goes slanted up on purpose for the radiator support or not so until i get the new one i can set it up and then uh yeah figure it out from there maybe i'll just have to bring it down just a little bit we shall see and then over here this is what i was gonna do put my little uh Port of power in there and see if we can get it out. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. There we go. Yeah. And I'll hit down the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put you guys down. I'll be right back. I don't know, guys. I think I pretty. Did a pretty good, did a damn good job. I can't even talk right now. I'm so happy. Check that out. Heck yeah. Look at that. And then this one over here. Like I said, oh yeah, I already showed this one. So, yeah, see, look at pretty straight there. Almost the same thing right here. I could fix it a little bit better. I'll work on it. Damn lighting. All right put this fender on see if it fits as you can see it's cloudy the sun's supposed to be about where is it right around there um so sorry for the lighting but check it out gaps look pretty good to me all the lot all the holes line up just a little i'm gonna get hood hinges yeah i think that's my problem right there but up and down is perfect I'm gonna get hood hinges tomorrow and a radiator support. And here's all the bad parts. The radiator support, fans, radiator hose, fender, condenser, radiator, and hood. Like I said, I'm gonna save the bumper. And I got a new grill. Grill's on the other side of the car. I might get it. 
Thanks, Frank. Um, I might get another headlight. Um, I do have a driver's one. I might get a passenger one because, like I said, this one's fogging up on me. I don't like that. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it for today. Catch me tomorrow. And we're back. It's another day. Like I said, I was going to get a new radiator support, and I got one. 80 bucks LKQ. So I just bolted it up real quick where it should be. That's where it should be. Check this out. I am not that far off. Look at that. What am I off? Maybe quarter. Even if I just move it a little, it'll bolt in. Boom. I'm pretty damn good. Yeah, just move it a little bit. Matches. Actually, there you go. Bam, matches. It's not fully bolted in. That matches, guys. Wow. All right. So now I know I need the hood hinges because the hood does not sit right. And I forgot when I got the radiator support like a dumbass. So I got to go back. Not till Tuesday. They're closed Monday. Oh, no, they're open Monday. Whoo, I'm going Monday. Cool. Monday it is. Today's Friday. And bam, it's all together. Don't look too bad. Everything lines up. Look at that. Everything. Like I said, the hood's not going to line up right because I do need to get hood hinges. You can tell. Yeah, you can. It stops right there. So that's bad. But hey, it's good enough to get the inspection, get it registered, everything. But check it out. Look at that. Everything. Everything lines up, dude. Heck yes i'm gonna repair that that's no problem and that rip that's on the bumper can't even see it i'm gonna leave it alone i'm gonna fix that heck yeah everything matches buddy oh yeah we're in there all right i think that's gonna end this video right here on the next one i'll be putting in the radiator uh, radiator hoses, condenser, vacuum it, recharge the AC system. Uh, I just got the oil change done. Um, let's see, and then uh, we'll go ahead and clean the interior, wash it, and then probably paint it on the next video. Like I said, it's going to be a quick flip. Quick, quick, quick. I love it. Now, this is what I'm talking about, rebuilding them quick. Yeah, dang. Heck yeah. All right. Until next time. I think this is going to end this uh, part one on the Ultima. All right, that's it for Bobby's Backyard. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And if you have, thank you for the support. Please like, share, and comment. It does help out the channel a lot. Talk to you guys later.